Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm just going to be showing you how to go about staking your pelargoniums. This one, this variety, is from Fibrix Nursery. It's a decorative pelargonium. Our Jeanette. It's been really windy here lately. As you can see, it's split there on the stem, just there. It's been nipped out in the middle. So what I'm going to do with this is, I'm going to take these cans and put three in all the way around. And then put some wire in support it just so we don't get any more of that because it's just starting to flower now so i don't want to lose these flowers so let's get the camera set up and i'll show you how i go about uh, supporting my uh polygoniums right here we go i'm using this i got three oxes for a pound last year you can use twine string which i do recommend really because it's less abrasive because this is steel wire with a plastic coating so First of all, get this name tag back in. Yeah, I'm losing name tag. And get this cane in. You want, you want three in all the way around the pot. So you produce like a triangle. That's the first one. Like decent height, probably just above the plants. So you need plenty of space to grow. These have been painted green last year, so they shouldn't stand out as much. Another one in there. Try and get them just, just at a slight angle as they're going out. Sorry. And then this last one. This will stop them breaking anymore. In there. This one should cut quite easily, it's a lot thinner this one. Yeah, spot on. Right, now I've got that. Get the camera a little bit closer. Rubble day now, it's been uh, terrible here all day, but now it's really starting to pick up. Uh, get your string, your YK, whatever you want to call it. Oh, this one has just gone over the top now, this one, nearly. I might take it off and use it as a cushion. We'll see. If it survives, it survives, but I've got a funny thing it's not going to do. Off. Start this off just here. I always start it off lower and then you like work your way up as you go around. Yeah, these I'm definitely getting some more plants from Fire Bitch Nurseries next year. I really do love the quality. They come in uh, newspaper, so totally biodegradable what they come in. It's a lot of plastic and the quality is great. As soon as you get them, give them a good water. And then Bob's your uncle, Sarah's your auntie, and you're away. So, down like this. You want to, you're not trapping any leaves or anything. Spin it round. First, first one I take round, I'm going to just get underneath everything, and then it can support it like that. And you, as you tighten it, it will fetch it inwards. So, yeah, I've got onto the same cable, the same uh, cane. I'll just Turn around a few times just to keep the tension, and now this one can go higher, like so. As you can see, this is starting to fetch everything in woods a lot tighter, a lot more compact. This way, I'm not going to have anything that. Yeah, cable on. That's my cable there, that's my cane there. Twist it a few times again. The last one, which we should go all the way around the spot on. See if I can do that so that outwards. And that's it. This has gone from being a really worried if it was going to when you get up, I was going to lose some more sections. But now I've done this, everything should be a okay. Fingers crossed. I did it with the other one, and the other one's worked a treat, so. Yeah, so yeah, as you can see, put that nicely done. Nice support all the way around now. Got any leaves that you think would get in the way or anything, you can always get your thumb off and you set them off like so, so it looks a bit more lighting. But give it a few more days, and that shall 
it leaks out like that stuff. Yeah, a few more days. And these will all start growing and it'll get a bit bit better shape to it. Once you've got a bit better shape to it, I can then decide which one of these leaves I'm gonna take off or which one of these branches I'm gonna cut. But yeah, that's gone from worried about it snapping and breaking off. I'll show you in here. I've already had one bit that broke off and I've uh, I caught it this morning because it was really windy yesterday. So I've used that bit as a cutting. So but yeah. As you can see any leaves that are in the way, uh, get that. Just, just get them out so we're not getting caught or anything like that one there. If you don't want to damage anything, you don't have to. That one there. This one come out nicely. I think that's about it, yeah. As you can see, it's a lot tighter now, a lot more compact. And it's got, I can even put some more cable around another couple of inches if it needs it, but I don't think it will. It should flow in the next few days, which I'm really looking forward to. So basically that's how to uh, support your polygoniums. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you like the videos, please subscribe, folks. And remember, happy sewing, happy growing. Keep safe, everybody. Thank you for watching, and good luck.